Oh, I should check the status of my email marketing campaign. Well, I will remember. I will for sure remember to get back to this. Now guess if those tasks got done. Well, if this has ever happened to you, don't worry, to me too, you're not alone, but this is what we are going to be fixing in this video. Let's get into it. So basically here the problem is that we may be having an idea of a new task that we want to do or just some random idea, and we may think that we are going to remember it in the future, but probably we will not. Or maybe we even will get to writing it somewhere on some notebook or on some app on our phone or whatever, but then we forget to get back to it. So the outcome is the same, but I believe that this has an easy fix and it will just take three steps. The first step is capturing. So what we want to do as soon as we have that idea is to just capture it somewhere. It doesn't matter because no, our mind will never remember. All the formatting, all the metadata, anything else is just going to be noise. We just need to capture it. That is going to be the success for this first step. My one tip here will be to just have one way of capturing information. Tasks, notes, general knowledge, whatever, it doesn't matter. We will just capture it the same way. And why are we doing this? Well, because first of all, it's as simple as it can get. And second of all, because we are going to be reducing the friction in the moment that we want to capture something. So imagine that we are walking down the street and we have an idea for a project. So it's like, okay, where do I store this project? Shall I go to my previous database in Notion? Shall I add it in my wonder list that it doesn't exist anymore or should I add it to so friction what we want is just to get it out of our mind okay so now that we know which is the objective for this first part of the process how are we going to do it well this is going to depend on who you are and what your life looks like in my case for example I have looked at my life and see where I am in those moments in which I have ideas in most places if not all of the places that I am at I always have my phone with me and I always have my hands free. So according to this, I have chosen Apple Notes for this quick capture kind of forgetting about it first step. But in fact, we can use any app. For me, this app should just have two requirements. One, that it loads fast, and second, that it has some kind of quick entry feature. So we can just click on an icon and just get typing. Because again, that will offer even less friction. So other apps that you can use are Drafts for iPhone or Evernote and Google Keep for Android. But again, this will depend on your personal situation. So let's say that you drive a lot and you have a lot of ideas when you are driving. So you may have to use some app that allows you to voice record and that maybe even have a synchronization with your Apple Watch. So like this, you can just click here, record the voice memo and, and that's it. So maybe you have to optimize for that. Okay, so this simple step should get you going and solve the forgetting part of the equation. But now we're just storing all sorts of unstructured data in one app, okay? But this is not really actionable, and we may even forget that we saved that there. So what to do next? This is the second step of this process, which is the review. So a review may sound fancy, but it is just some kind of process that we follow with some kind of frequency. Ideally, in my case, weekly, but it can be even higher frequency, like daily or every two days. But in my case, I do this weekly. This review process is going to ensure that we don't lose any information that we have stored in Apple Notes or whatever app we are using, and that we actually create some action or we organize this information wherever it needs to be stored. And as you may anticipate, I use Notion for this. So what I have is this weekly review template that I have in my Wix database, but this can just be a static template inside of your workspace. And inside of this review, I have more things, but this is completely optional. In inside of this review, what I have is just this simple reminder of processing Apple Notes. So whenever I'm doing the review, I will go to my Apple Notes and process that. So there is a few things that can happen when I'm processing. One, that I see a note that I no longer care about and I will just delete it. So that's it. Another one, that this may be a task. So I will go to Notion and create this task. Third one, that it may be a project. So I will go to my project database and just add the project. Or fourth, that this may be some, some information, some idea that it may relate to a project. It may relate to, I don't know, a script of a video or to a new product that I'm going to sell or whatever. So I will store it where it belongs. And that is it, honestly. So once I'm done uh, processing, I'm going to just check this off and continue the review process. So now that we have all the projects that we needed to create and all the tasks from our Apple Notes that we needed to create already in our project management software. For me, the next step will be to plan the next week. 
So I will not get into much detail related to the to the projects. I just want to see here the task backlog. So all the tasks that we have created just now are going to appear here. Of course, you can build this by yourself. This is a simple filter where the due date is empty and the status is not started. So, so these all the unscheduled tasks. Okay, you probably will not need these other group filters. So once we have this backlog view, we will just have to schedule them. And as you may be seeing right now, this is a very good way, if we do this with some frequency, to never lose a task. Because we will create them in our brain dump in Apple Notes. Then it will come here and then with a weekly frequency we are going to review it and select what we can do in the current week so in this case if we are using notion if we want to schedule things we can simply drag from here to here but if you are using any other project management app you will just have to set up do date i prefer do dates because i don't have due dates and that will be it and the third step of this whole process is going to be to execute so in the step number two, we have already scheduled all our tasks for the week. So then we will just have to come to a page, for example, here in Notion, where we are just displaying the things that we need to get done today. So the filter here is quite simple, is the due date is today. And this too is for the overdue tasks. So the due date is before today and it's not done or whenever it's done there in updated is today. So this, so whenever I drag any of these tasks to the done column. They don't disappear today, but tomorrow they will disappear. But honestly, you will just need the due date is today. That's it. Then if you are using Notion, it's also very helpful to have the tomorrow view. Well, tomorrow is Saturday, so there is nothing here, but it is also very helpful at the end of the day to check what we have on our plate tomorrow so we can start the day knowing already what we need to get done. This is something that I'm starting to do. So honestly, I don't really know if it's gonna make any difference in my life, but I'm gonna try it out. Okay, so to summarize, we're gonna capture everything that comes our way using one and only one app. In my case, Apple Notes. Then we are gonna have the weekly or daily habit of reviewing the notes that we have created and processing them. Turn them into tasks, projects, or store them where they belong, or to delete them. Then we are gonna check the backlog of all the tasks that we have, and we are going to schedule them for the week. In my case, or if you are doing it daily, you will schedule your next day. And finally, we will just have to execute. And what keeps our house clean, as I say, is this uh, weekly process. Okay, so now that we've seen this three-step process, I have to admit that I cheat a little bit. But I cheat because I have been doing this for quite a long time already. So I'm quite familiar with all the process. Okay, so I do have two ways of capturing information. I have one way for the tasks and the other way for everything else. And why do I do this? Because let's say that I'm in the middle of the week and I may need to create a task that I want to do tomorrow. And then if I have to wait for the next review to scale that task, so that task will not get done on time. Okay, so I needed a way to kind of bypass that. So since Notion kind of sucks for quick capturing information, I decided to use Todoist, the task management app, in order to do so. So what does this automation do? So every time that I create a new task in Todoist, I'm gonna create the same task in Notion, and just for the sake of keeping Todoist clean, uh, I will mark the task as completed. By the way, you can use the same automation on the free plan. You will just be able to do these two steps. So just your to-do is will just become messy, but I will be okay with that. And I'm also gonna leave in the description of the video a link so you can replicate the same template. And why am I using to-do as well? Because in the quick entry feature, is amazing. It is super fast. Whenever I am in the computer, I just have to activate the shortcut and just new task. And I can even say tomorrow like this with natural language. And also this due date will go to Notion using this, this automation over here. And the same will happen on my phone. So if I go here, I will just create a new task, new task, tomorrow, that's it. So this is gonna trigger the automation and the task is gonna go to Notion due tomorrow. But again, I'm making this system a little bit more complex because this doesn't add friction to me, okay? If I were just starting, I will just stick to what I said in the beginning of the video, just have one capturing method and then process it over and over again. So this whole process has simplified everything so much for me 
Now, whenever I encounter something that I want to save, I don't have any friction. I just send it to Apple Notes because I know that later I'm going to process it. So I don't have this fear of, oh, fuck, maybe I'm going to forget this. That honestly gives me so much peace of mind. Well, I hope you like this video and that is it for today. And as always, hasta la próxima.